Hey, what is up, peeps? This is Broke Man here, coming at you guys with a tutorial on how to make an overlay for GeForce Experience on Photoshop. Now, as you can see, I have here the display. Um, now, if you're using Photoshop, what you want to do is open up a new project, put the width at 1920 by 1080, if that's what your resolution is at. Um, of course, I'm still going to use this picture because I want to get the best part of the overlay to basically map out where I want everything how I want it um, now there's a bunch of different ways you can do this uh, a couple projects I have um, I've made a lot of overlays for a lot of people I, I uh, started off by doing it for free because I wanted to make a portfolio um, let's see what we got I mean there's let's see cancers Cancer's overlay was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, that's a bottom overlay right there. Um, like I said, there's a bunch of different overlays you can you can make. Um, overlay samples. Here we go. So we got the top one. I made this one simple. Only thing I don't like about this one is that um, <clears throat> it is pretty big. So obviously, you know, it's gonna have to be resized. Bring it down a little bit. Put it back right there. Um, it's all depending really on what you want. I know some people want, you know, the the followers on one side and then um, the subscribers on the other side. Uh, there's also a full border that you can do. Um, you know, have the cam on the bottom right or you can flip it if need be. Um, it's entirely up to you really. Um, and really no specific way to go about it. It's about how you want it, what you want to do about it. Um, again, I've made a lot. I mean, just for a fact that I can mess around with graphic design, I just went all out. I kept trying and trying and trying until I finally got one that I liked. Um, once I got that one, which was this one right here, uh, came out with my own logo. I have the handlebar mustache and the sunglasses I don't wear sunglasses while streaming but I mean I incorporated that with my logo um, so let's get to it okay so uh, what you want to do is you want to basically find out what you want as far as color um, what kind of color you think looks best um, and then just start making shapes I mean what I've seen a lot of is people use kind of like the polygon, um, not polygon shape, but when you, uh, let's see, let me show you guys a little something here. Uh, create a new layer, um, shift delete, make it, mm, let's do alt delete, let's make it pink. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. Um, no, you can use really pretty much anything. Um, if you're good with the pen tool, you can use a pen tool. Um, and like you just want to make a shape now when using Photoshop I try to make it as straight as I can make the lines almost damn near match um, see, like, there you go that's my first shape fill path let's see color let's go gray okay mm. and then just go from there I mean damn it <laughs> I did that wrong Set another shape, fill path, color, cool. Let's see, so um, now when using Photoshop, there's so much you can do. It's really up to you and what you want to do. As far as it goes from here, um, you can add wings, which wings are basically. Let's see, add a new layer. Wings are stuff like. You know, you can put your subscribers on the bottom or on the side right here. Um, straight. And then just fill that path. This color. A little darker than the last one. Boom, bam, boom. Look at that. And then I got a wing. It's pretty cool how you do it. Um, my dude, I feel like this is a little big. Uh, when playing PUBG, you got your compass up top, so it's really going to block a lot of that. Plus, I mean, if everybody's on the side. Now, mind you, this is an old picture um, from 
first time PUBG, let's see, PUBG was probably out for a couple months maybe with this picture. Um, let's see, so now I want to copy that one, flip it, image rotation, horizontal, oh, nope, that's not what I wanted, image, oh, layer, Let's go to edit, transform, vertical, horizontal, put it on the other side, look at that, now I got wings. So like I said, it's really up to the user preference and what they want to do. Um, what I'll do is I'll find what kind of font I want to use and then just kind of incorporate it with the overlay. Um, all depending on what you want to do really. Let's see, it's 72. Uh, let's do the color white. Man. Now as far as fonts, what I'll do is I'll go to like defont.com or 100 or 1001 fonts um, and then I'll you know go through a assortment of fonts that they have through there, check out what they have. Um, but like I said, I mean it's all you, up to you. Um, sometimes I'll join these up, let's see, put those two together, nah, let's leave those separate. Um, Alright, then go into followers now when doing the font for followers what I like to do is I like to change it up um, go like a sans script not sans script like a sans ooh, let's see. what are they called San can't even find the font now uno segundo The other one that was like milk, lemon and milk. That one's pretty good. I like that one. So you got recent followers. <clears throat> um, let's see, now let's make this a little bit better. Let's go to the middle one, give it some depth, um, bevel, no, let's do, not a stroke, but an inner shadow, multiply, distance, mm, scope angle, change that, go from the bottom, that's kind of like a stroke. Nope. Okay. Take the contour off. Bevel. Depth. Let's pick this up a little bit. Okay. Give it some. Change that up a little bit. I mean, it looks okay. I personally would start adding some color. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Top donation. Now, as you can see, it's all offset. So, I mean, what I'll do is I will up top so it fits in there what I'll do is I'll try to match up everything as far as the font 
and then I'll join it all up, shorten it, you know, shrink it, like, uh, see, shift to that, and then that. And I can make it smaller. And then for the actual fonts that you want under there. Now, mind you, this is one thing that sucks about GeForce Experience. That's why I, when I made overlays, I would just add the name. I wouldn't give it a latest subscribers or anything like that because with GeForce Experience you can't add a moving picture there's no options for GIFs there's no options to add the RTML so that you can add you know um, alerts to your your um, your stream when you're streaming and it kind of kills it when you, when you use GeForce Experience but at the same time I mean it runs up the G GPU so when you stream on GeForce it makes it a little bit easier but I mean it just it sucks so I feel like I just made this for nothing <laughs> oh man oh right so I mean that's pretty much it though I'm gonna make an overlay like I said there's so many you can do I have tons of projects I've done um, my folders are all filled up. I've done so many here. Uh, let's see, like I've done one for... I haven't done one for Dolda, Captain Arg, I made a logo. Brokeman, Primo, I made banners. Um, oh shit, I forgot about Gato. Yeah, I just made so many, I, I don't even pay attention. I made the offline banners. What's cool about the offline banners is I've gotten uh, a couple brushes and um, these brushes are pretty cool because they are pretty much anything I want to do so if I want to get high tech with it I can sit here and get these cool little already pre-sampled sketches so then when I add you know let's see a layer here put this under that See, so I'll have these. These are already transformable. Let's go 15. Change color to red. It's like pinkish. But then I can sit here and you know mess around, make it look cool. Be back soon. Be back soon. That's how you make an offline banner. Nah, but I mean, like I said, it's, it's all up to your preference. I mean, whatever you want is colors, whatever you want to do as far as overlay, if you want a full overlay, if you want a small overlay, it really can get into depth. Um, like I said, I've had, I have so many that I've made that, like, this is my full screen overlay for playing Mario. Um, you know, I put the screen in here, the chat in there, or the the camera in here, you know, I had the recent follower. Um, this one was pretty easy to make. I just took a couple ping files, you know, mushroom guy flipping you off, Mario jumping here, then I made a background Mario in the background over here, added the level to the back. I mean, there's just so many ways. It's just, I'm not even kidding. There's, I've made so many. It's, it's so easy, you know, it's, 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 it's all in the eye of the beholder. It's literally whatever you want to do as far as making the overlays up to you. So, as far as adding to GeForce, that's the only part that sucks. Um, 
you can't add anything with alerts on it. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for stopping by and checking out my video. If you guys like the video, please subscribe. If you don't, you know, give me a couple comments. Why? Um, I'm always good for feedback. I love helping people out. So if you need an overlay or something like that, just message me. Maybe we can work something out. Um, just PM me, message me, whatever you want to do. I do have a Discord. That's all located on my Twitch. Yeah. Um, just try and get a hold of me. All right. Thank you.